Kelly, thank you. And uh, of course, last night we were dealing with a mess of snowfall. Our Brit Marino was trying to head out to the airport this morning. Of course, an accident along there, making that drive just tough. Yes, uh, you know, things improve fast, but it takes a little bit, you it know, does. to get that sun up and get the roads melting. So take it easy on that accelerator for a few more hours anyway. We'll, we'll get these roads cleared for you. We're looking here uh, from a live cam. I know it looks a little bit murky. That's just some of the low level moisture still in the area. But as we clear today, and get a little wind in here. Our visibility should improve. We are in the 20s this morning up and down uh, eastern Colorado. Singles and teens in the high country and on the western slope 10 below for the cold spot at Craig this morning. 11 in Montrose. 30 in Pueblo at this hour. All right, here's Denver's official snow total at the airport, 8.3 inches. They were in that uh, little heavy band that set up across town, but 6.8 of that fell before midnight. So that made February 22nd the snowiest day here since April 16th of 2016. So it's been a while since we've had an official snow total that high. Eight and a half in Centennial, eight in Foxfield, seven and a half in Lone Tree, six and a half Littleton and Inglewood. A lot of variation. You may live in Inglewood. Uh, and, and had had more than six and a half inches of snow. It just depends on where you were under the band. Snow on the eastern plains this morning. Uh, this will start to depart between now and noon. However, it's quite windy. We're gusting into the 40s in the Arkansas River Valley. You throw that snow in there, and of course the visibilities are very uh, low on the eastern plains of our state. So difficult travel if you're trying to head off to Kansas. We have advisories and warnings through early afternoon. This red here is a blizzard warning on parts of I-70 across Kit Carson. And counting. Low pressure is going to pull away as it uh, moves on through the day today as we go through time. It'll be leaving our area out ahead of it strong to severe storms. We're expecting a tornado outbreak here in the lower Mississippi River Valley. Chicago will be feeling this storm system, so we could have some national air travel issues today as Denver's airport starts to recover from Friday night snow. Here's future cast. We do think some snow showers are possible this afternoon into tonight, only in the northern and central mountains. The rest of us should be on the dry side once this band of snow leaves the eastern plains today rolling into tomorrow maybe a little morning clouds or fog out here on the plains but uh, it looks like we're setting up for a pretty quiet stretch of weather after a long cool unsettled period uh, 30s today east even a few 40s 30s out west teens and 20s up high uh, joel i have our high in denver at 35 it's going to depend on the snowpack uh, those of you that receive less snow will be warmer today those of you with deeper snow will be colder 41 tomorrow 48 monday look at tuesday the double Nichols 55 will do some melting in the week ahead.